Uber announced today it will open a new major hub in Dallas when it comes with it the promise of 3,000 high paying jobs. It's expected to be the company's largest operations center outside of its San Francisco headquarters. The announcement came just minutes after county leaders finalized one of several incentive packages aimed at luring the ride share giant. Fox 4's Blake Hansen in Deep Ellum, the home of that new hub. Blake. Uh, Clarice, this is part of the epic development that will eventually be home to that Uber hub. It will start with a few hundred employees with the promise of 3,000. City, county, and state leaders were quite jubilant in their announcements earlier today. And they say that they have crafted these deals to ensure that it turns out as rosy as it sounds. A new office tower at a development called the Epic is about to get a tenant, perhaps fitting of its namesake. The developer released this rendering of what will in months become a new hub for rideshare giant Uber. Uber has made it official and will be moving their hub here by the end of the year. Dallas County Commissioners announced the move just minutes after approving a near $3 million incentive package. Add to that millions approved by the city, plus money from the state, in total $36 million in breaks for Uber to come to Dallas. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins says it's worth it. It's the biggest deal ever uh, for Dallas and Dallas County as far as the economic impact coming in. The incentive packages come with a catch. They require Uber creates 3,000 jobs with a minimum average salary of $100,000 a year. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson believes the city will get back more than it's giving away. The incentives are tied to residency in Dallas. This is not a something for nothing deal. This is a very intelligent deal, very creative, very well thought out in the sense that the, the incentives are tied to the jobs being created in Dallas for people who live in Dallas. There's another hope tied to this deal that other technology companies will be lured to Dallas. It brings a lot of street cred to Dallas in the tech world. Brian Womack covers technology for the Dallas Business Journal. It's a good brand name. Does this all lead to a lot of other stuff? That's a that's a interesting question, but it can't hurt. I, I would think that at least. The deal does come with some criticism. County Commissioner John Wiley Price abstained from today's incentive vote, concerned over a lack of assurances Uber will hire a workforce reflective of Dallas's diversity. I, I want Uber to come like everyone else. I'm just trying to see, you know, where is the commitment? I'm looking at the demographics. I'm looking at the workforce for Dallas County technology, occupational data. And while Mayor Johnson says the deal won't fix every problem with the workforce in Dallas, this deal is a net positive. I can't overstate this how big a deal this is for our city and for the perception of our city as being a 21st century city, a forward-looking city. It's a great day. While well, Uber is expanding into Dallas, it is yet to actually turn a profit. During its last quarterly report, it reported its biggest loss ever, $5 billion in just a three-month span. Uber says that's in part because it is investing a lot right now. That includes for things like its Uber Elevate project for flying air taxis. By the way, Dallas is one of the test cities for that project.